What do we believe now? Who do we believe in now? Like this whole saga behind this um Saint Toby's death. Anyways, guys, the family of Saint Toby has come out to to say one or two regarding to his demise and missed allegation against his wife that he suffered domestic violence and in fact he went through a lot which led to his death at long road after a protracted immense meanwhile welcome back again to my channel this is la luman on court please do me that favor by doing exactly what you see on the screen here comes the statement so our attention has been drawn to the publication by one mr zik zulu okafo Concerning the death of our son, Mr. Obina Mwafo, also known as Saint Obi, and the accompanying negative commentary in social and other media portraying his widow in an unfair and defamatory manner. This is in no way, shape, or form an accurate portrayal of the Linda that we know and relate with. Hmm. Um, the one for family also views the said article by Mr. Okafor as said and most unfortunate. It was neither written in consultation with any members of the family nor uttered with our consent or authority. We totally disassociate ourselves from it. The views and allegations contained therein are entirely the opinion of the writer. They are false, malicious, and insensitive to the wife, children, and entire family he left behind. This is a mourning period for the family, and while we appreciate the condolences of friends, fans, and well-wishers, we ask that the family's privacy be respected at this time. The funeral rites will be communicated to the public in due course. May the soul of our dearly beloved brother, son, father, and husband rest in perfect peace. Amen. Signed. Ugeze Edith Chinyere Obichuku, Mrs. Freda Umachuku, elder sister, Texas, USA, elder sister. All this debunking, debunking, respect the family's privacy, this and that. You know, from what Zik Zulu said, he sounded so convincing. Another person again, um, Zeb Ejiro, also came out and made a statement relatively to what that Zig Zulu say do. And another comment again caught my attention. Guys, take a closer look at this. Guys, look at this statement. Um, this person said, I will tell Saint story here with painful tears in my eyes because he was a star, a superstar whose life turned out a gleam of irony. Yet it was the, it was this stardom that fetched him this much professed financially strong and powerful wife. Hmm. And their wedding, that solemn ritual of love, would drastically alter the course of his life and tragically yank him off the creative community that threw him up for the wife to capture and indeed conquer. Their marriage was, at best, a dramatization of love. It was quick. He barely told us that he found a wife. Then the marriage happened. It was something of a mystique. Only those involved understood the histrionics that played out none of us who were his closest pal who worked with him through the crucible to the crest of his career in nollywood was invested the distance between us and the guy i admired i admirably called saint toby of the storm had begun this gulf would widen with each year we saw him perhaps once in a year after this marriage. It would seem prognostic now, yes, because I recall leaving my house in Lagos mainland for his massive office in Lake Victoria Island, Lagos. It was about six years ago there I demanded to know why my friend abandoned our industry. He told me with his usual shy expressions that he wanted to focus on some other businesses and also to work behind the camera because his visage was unconvincing to me i told him in stark terms that whatever his new vision and pursuits he must not abandon the trade that made him who he was it took another three years for saint to return to his homies but when he did some of the deeply disappointed ones sniggered behind him this was because the smearing rumors of cracks in his marriage had hit his home 
and though secretive in his ways he knew it was time to open up and he said i did not know why my wife's siblings sees me as a gold digger they confronted me harassed and fight me in my own matrimony and my wife did nothing to stop them i work hard i earn my money i have never depended on my wife he lamented eyes blood with um eyes blood with tears you could tell he was in deep pain this other one is coming from a friend to the person to his mutual friend he called in the u.s before his last breath um this person said he called our mutual friend in u.s to give him a devastating message um he was on a deathbed he said i wanted our friend to pray for him he's not looking good pray pray for me he appealed passionately his next call on may 1 2023 this time to his mentor the man who made him a star with his productions zeb ejiro oon he told him with a wavering um, voice that he had had three surgeries but was still in hospital in jaws he averred again that his situation was not looking good that his that he is also in deep pain distressed that he could not see his children but still he begged him not to tell anyone about his ailment Chai, why why die in silence now eh why bottling up so much like this in fact hmm, such was the life of this creative hermit a loyal trooper i was the first to hear the news of his death late on sunday may 7 having confirmed it i called zeb ejiro i have a very bad news my brother zeb i began what is it what is it zeb zig zulu he asked anxiously a big star has fallen in nollywood zeb broke down in tears i hadn't said who it was but sobbing hopelessly now he said don't tell me it is sent obi sadly zeb was right may his soul rest in perfect peace guys eh you see from all this all i understood or understand whichever way you want to put it is that saint obi bottled up a whole lot and i don't think that he opened up fully to his family members you know i don't think with this kind of person that he is that he always told people that he opened up to not to let it out so i don't blame the family members if they say they don't know anything about what zeb ejiro zig zulu said and the rumors flying around which involves his wife if actually what zeb ejiro and zig zulu said it was what sent told them before his demise anyways may his soul rest in perfect peace and may god in his infinite mercy grant him peace in his bosom anyways guys with that being said that brings me to the end of this video and in case you're watching for the first time this is loudly woman on court please guys do me that favor by giving this video a massive massive thumbs up remember to subscribe to my youtube channel turn on your notification bell to always get notified anytime i drop new video or videos on this channel we react we analyze we give trending just celebrity news true crime and true crime stories and to my tiny subscribers thank you for always watching liking commenting and sharing bye bye for now as i'm signing out for my next one peace out i love you all okay,